Welcome to our today. So I'm Amy from Swerve, and my co-host today is going to be Andrus. Um, Andrus is our CEO and president, and we have an awesome, really, really fun announcement, and we're going to do some giveaways today. Okay, I'm a little frozen, I think. You're there, Amy. You're there. Let I've got see. your back, girlfriend. Okay. Okay, great. Awesome. <laughs> okay. I think I should be good now. I see I see more bars. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties. But Andres, thank you for joining me today. Um, if you guys don't know, Andres is our CEO and president. Um, I'm Amy. I'm the registered dietitian team at Swerve. And we are so, so, so excited to share our latest product with you today. Yeah, really exciting I because it's, to... you, you keep going, Amy, and doing your technical uh, testing over there. But as some of you may know, you may be familiar with our sweeteners, our granular sweetener, our confectioners, and our brown swerve as well. Hopefully you know about that one. And then a couple of years ago, well, almost two years ago, we launched several bake mixes. So our chocolate cake mix, our vanilla cake mix, chocolate chip cookie, my personal favorite, and then our pancake and waffle mix. Well, they were starting to get a little lonely and needed a friend to join them. And of course, you know, there are some really popular other kind of bake mixes out there that we started doing some um, looking at what people buy the most. Do they buy chocolate cake the most? Do they buy vanilla cake the most? It wasn't cake at all, you guys. It was actually what we're about to announce. Brownie. And that is our Swerve Brownie Mix. So yeah. it is the most popular bake mix on the market. Who knew that brownies were the most popular? But if you really think about it, move over chocolate chip cookies because I think I have a new favorite. <laughs> so we're yeah. super excited to launch this okay. and let you in on the premiere even before they're available, which we're hoping any minute now. So Amy, give them all the specs on what the brownie mix is like. Yeah, of course. So um, the brownies are incredible. So they are fudgy, they're like chewy, chocolatey. Um, also, you know, we also are always going to make sure that everything we're doing at Swerve is carb conscious, is better for you ingredients. So just to kind of touch on the ingredients, they're made with almond flour, coconut flour, just like all of our other mixes. Um, of course, there's some cocoa powder in there, a little bit of tapioca starch, sweetened with Swerve. So just really simple, clean label ingredients. Um, we don't have any added sugar at all in our brownies. Um, they're also certified non-GMO, they're gluten-free, grain-free, like the healthiest brownie that you could ever eat, and you would never know that there's not sugar in it. Like, they're absolutely phenomenal. So good, great, clean ingredient. And you can see how fudgy they are. Like, they're so, so, so good. They're yeah. awesome. Are this, they is an this is an entire box, <clears throat> less two. Sorry about that. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> Yeah, so, and then, and then for the wet ingredients, you're going to add eggs, oil, and water, and that's it. So it's like your typical mix. So I see someone's asking, are they chewy? Now, we're going to actually cover some FAQs because, and that's one of the questions, that's one of the common questions you get about brownies. Um, there actually is no vanilla in the brownies, right, Andres? There's no vanilla that's extract. It's That's just right. that cocoa. So it's, it's like a dark chocolate brownie, you know, like it's not overly sweet. Um, it really is just kind of like a really nice, rich, dark chocolate, fudgy brownie flavor. Amy, Amy, we actually have dried vanilla that's in there. So that's what's listed as our natural flavor, but it's a dried, uh, pure vanilla. So you're not having to add that in. And the whole purpose of why we created these mixes was a couple of reasons. Number one, we wanted convenience and something really easy, but like Amy mentioned, we're talking about the coconut flour, the almond flour. These are not inexpensive ingredients. Yes, we're a premium product, but we wanted to have all of those things in there that you didn't have to go out and spend $45 on all the ingredients to make brownies from scratch, especially if maybe you're new to the gluten-free or carb conscious world and you're trying to see, you know, am I going to be okay with all of this? So this is a way for you to invest 
generally around $6.99, $7.99 on a box that you don't have to go out there and again, spend $45 to procure all these, these ingredients. So we're trying to help you out and, uh, and make it simple too, because sometimes you just don't want to bake from scratch. Let's just face it. It's true. Oh my gosh. Since we came out with the mixes, I hardly ever bake from scratch anymore. Like they, I mean, they're so good to use as a base. I mean, they're, they're delicious on their own, but to use as a base for a recipe, it just makes life so much easier. And, you know, just like you were talking about buying all of these ingredients separately, like if you're not baking all the time, it can really add up. They're going to go bad in your pantry. And we, we even like kind of broke down the cost. And, um, you know, it, it would be like at least $40 to buy all these ingredients separately. Whereas if you're just kind of starting in, in the baking world or you want, want something quick, if you don't bake all the time, this is a really, really great option for you. Um, okay, so I see some really great questions in the chat here. So um, how does it compare to keto and co-brownies? Okay. Um, we, we have, we need to sample a few more. We've tested some other brands. We definitely have tried some other brands in the office. And, um, I will say that I think ours are better. Ours are, I mean, we, we are all about quality over quantity at Swerve. Um, and it is just, you know, really, really important to us that taste, like taste is going to be number one. Like, you know, of course we want the nutrition in there and like taste and nutrition, I would say are our top two priorities, but you know, that's why we, we kind of take our time coming out with these products and we really, really want them to, to taste good, be amazing. Um, someone's asking about the net carbs, only five grams net carbs per serving. So we want to make sure that it's a healthy option, carb conscious, all of that good stuff. So yeah. Yeah, and one thing to note is I actually haven't tried Keto & Co. Um, before, but I would say to you, Amy hit the nail on the head, at Swerve and everything we do, it really is about the quality versus quantity, and you've probably noticed that. We don't have a ton of products that are on the market, and the products that we come up with, we actually use ourselves. It's what we want. We're the taste testers. That's the nice thing is you don't have some research and development company way over here that isn't in touch with our company on a day-to-day -day basis. You're looking, Amy is, listen, when I'll say, Amy, we have brownie mix that I need you to bake and we're going to have to taste test this, bring everybody around. So the operations and finance team, the people who do the accounting every day, they're giving their input on it. Um, and then Amy's helping to make sure that those things are meeting the right nutritionals. So you're talking to the people who are coming up with these ideas every day and making sure that it's absolutely the best we can put out there. So that's why we may be a little slower because for us, it's really about making sure that you know, the fact is, we're sugar replacement. We are an alternative. Some people want to call it alternative. I think some of our stuff's better than the conventional stuff out there, if not every one of our items. And so it's got to be that much better. And you expect it from us. So we don't want to let you down. And I guess what I'm trying to say is we're definitely not letting you down on these brownies. I have tricked a few people already. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, my family loves it for sure. Um, I've made the brownies for them several, several times, and they think they're amazing. Um, and, you know, you shared a little bit about, I mean, I know I grew up on brownies, and you shared a little bit about, like, okay, people love brownies. Like, it makes total sense to kind of come out with those. Um, do you want to give them kind of, like, a little bit of the behind the scenes of, like, what it takes to come out with a product and, like, what goes into that whole process, because it's a process. <laughs> yeah, it is. And so what we do is we come up with the idea of those ingredients that we want, we specify that, and we start putting those ingredients together. And we look at different ratios, especially on the things like our chocolate cake and on the brownies. You want the exact ratio of chocolate and cocoa um, that is gonna make sense and appeal to a broad audience. So you start looking at those ratios, you say to, uh, I say to Amy, Amy, let's have a little taste test. We're going to taste test sample one, sample two. We compare them side by side. Okay, wait, that's not quite good enough. Now we want to tweak this. And so then we make those little tweaks. But you have to also think about 
the packaging has to be developed. And that's where I'm not sure if you see there are several of the uh, Swerve team members from marketing on here. They're probably trying to stay incognito and not that wave, wave, <laughs> exactly. Emily and Mike and Andy. And they are behind the scenes every day, making sure that we have gorgeous packaging, that uh, it's appealing. And so we have to put all that together. And as a matter of fact, I have to tell you guys a little story that nobody else will probably know. Okay. And they're cringing right now, wondering what story is Andrus going to tell. tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're a small company. We're here in New Orleans. And what I think is the most incredible thing about Swerve are the people on the team. And so we're very in, in like, we use a lot of ingenuity in coming up with ways that we can do things and do them right here in New Orleans and do them ourselves. And so when we needed to take a picture of the brownies for the front of the box, see these okay. brownies right here? I know this story. <laughs> okay, we don't use any stock images. So anything that you ever see associated with Swerve, this picture on here, these are the actual brownies in this box. Amy baked them, and then Mike, Michael Hartnett, you can see on, on here, He's the guy actually here. photographed them. <laughs> but y'all, we don't have a fancy photography studio, so they went into our warehouse, put down like a piece of poster board and all of this, yeah, and they actually like photographed these like, yeah. <laughs> They photographed these brownies on the floor in our warehouse. Now, of course, nobody ate them, but that is how the photography occurred, which I think is just super cool and some big companies out there may think that we were crazy but there's a story behind it and again if you go to our website if you see any flyers um, mm -hmm. that are associated with our company every single one of those things probably Amy or Ben or Bree made them and then Mike photographed them so you don't ever get any fake pictures oh yes that's a sugar cake but we're saying it's worth no way Jose always things that are made with Swerve is what we put on our packaging, our website, yeah. and every other thing. I will say my favorite of the brownie pictures is the picture that was on this invitation with the chocolate drizzle. Oh my gosh, that was so fun to pour. And we were just like more, more drizzle, less drizzle. It was, it was really fun. So this was a fun photo shoot for sure. Amy, were you doing the, uh, were you doing the drizzling and Mike was doing the ph photography? Yes, 100%. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> We were like, that's the money shot with the drizzle. So you got to get the drizzle bit. Okay. So I want to talk about some FAQs for these brownies because I see you guys have a lot of amazing questions about them and we're going to try to answer all of them. Um, but first I want to go over some things that you guys are probably wondering. Amy, about. I'm going to close my window real quick. I'll be right back. I'm in downtown New Orleans and apparently they've opened it back up a little bit and everybody's running down the street. Okay. Oh, interesting. Maybe there's just a parade that, that's coming on. Oh, look, and we have a poll. Okay, guys, so we have a poll here. What is your favorite Swerve Sweets bake mix? So for those of you that have tried other bake mixes, um, let us know what your favorite is. I don't know what my favorite is anymore. Andrus, what's your favorite bake mix? What would you say? Well, I mean, you know my favorite is chocolate chip cookies, oh, just because that's my favorite dessert and treat in the world. Ooh. I don't know. These brownies are going to give it a really good run for the money. Ooh, and excited about these brownies. Look and I'll have to say that sometimes, you know, when you go out to eat, which I haven't been out to eat in how long? None of us have been. Mm -hmm. um, it might be a brownie a la mode that would be my choice mm -hmm. if I had to splurge. Mm -hmm. And yeah. guess what? Now I can just make Swerve vanilla ice cream, which we have some fantastic uh, recipes on our website. So mm -hmm. I'm super, I'm just super excited about all of these things. Yeah, yeah the brownies are, they're going to be a game changer. I can't wait for y'all to try them. Oh, and one thing that's kind of fun is if you take the vanilla cake mix and the chocolate cake mix and swirl it and make, Ooh, you know, like marble cake. Marble cake, exactly. That's fun too. Delicious. There's so many amazing things you could do with our bake mixes for sure. Um, okay, so FAQs. I saw someone asked already, do you can you make a chewy brownie with this mix? And listen, you can make a chewy brownie or a cakey brownie. And that is the beauty of it. So um, you can kind of manipulate your egg situation. So you can put one egg instead of two eggs in the mix, and you're gonna get a really chewy, thick, dense, fudgy brownie. Now, if you like a more cake-like brownie that has a little bit more height to it, then you're gonna wanna use two eggs. So you can have both. 
that we, you know, we want everyone to be happy. So um, that is definitely one of the questions we've gotten a lot. Um, you can also bake them for a little bit shorter of a time period. So like 20, depending on your oven, I would say like 24 to 25 minutes if you want a more chewy, fudgy brownie. And if you want a more like, like my dad loves the end pieces. He loves a like crispy brownie edge. So you can get that too just by cooking it like up to 28 minutes, something like that. So yeah, you can definitely um, manipulate the mix a little bit and get some nice different textures there. Um, and then another question we get a lot, can you make these vegan? And absolutely, yes, you can. So um, all of the ingredients in the mix them itself is vegan. And so instead of using eggs, you just use like a Bob's Red Mill egg replacer or something like that. Um, so yes, you can absolutely make this mix vegan, which is really awesome. Um, also, just a little tip, and this is for any gluten-free baked good, is to um, butter your pan really, really well, put some parchment paper down, because again, it's just that those almond flour, coconut flour, they tend to stick to the pan a little bit more, and so this will help prevent that sticking. Um, hey, Amy, today, mm -hmm. I didn't actually use any parchment paper when I made my brownies. I just really buttered my, and I used a glass pan, but mm -hmm. I really buttered it well, and they came out perfectly. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds awesome. So, so don't let the parchment, don't the, let the parchment paper, the, or lack thereof, keep you from enjoying those brownies. Get in there. Heck, I would eat them with a spoon if I had to. I've done it both ways. I've used, I've used parchment paper and I've just really heavily buttered the pan and both ways worked fine for me. So you can do both. Um, and then another question we get a lot is what kind of oil should I use? So you can use anything really. Um, canola oil, vegetable oil, that's kind of like your, your, you know, basic baking oils, but you can also do like avocado oil. Um, you can do, let's see, you can do, you can even do butter. Um, some people do coconut oil. So whatever kind of fat choice you want to use, any of those oils are fine. Um, okay. And then we're also going to share a blog post and you now someone asked, can you, can you kind of like, can you put peanut butter? Can you do nuts? You can chocolate chips. Absolutely. And I have done a lot of those things guys. And let me tell you, they are incredible. So, um, I have done, let's see, a chocolate raspberry brownie. I know that's Mike's new favorite recipe, right, Mike? He probably won't admit it, but oh, look, he's shaking his head. Yes, he is admitting it. <laughs> Great. So yeah, those were amazing. There's like a chocolate, um, there's like a raspberry filling in the middle. Oh, so good. And then I also did like a triple chocolate situation. Ooh, those were good. I only did one egg to make them really nice um, and fudgy. And then I added some chocolate chips and did a chocolate ganache sauce on top. So it's like, death by chocolate situation. It was very good. Um, hey, and Linda, Linda, yeah, you can definitely sub applesauce for oil. Um, mm -hmm. works, out, works out great in almost all recipes. Yeah, and that'll save you a lot of calories. Um, if you are kind of looking for more, you know, of a, of a lower fat, lower calorie recipe, you can make that swap. Of course, that's going to increase the carb count, but if that's okay with you, it's an absolute, you know, great swap to use. Um, let's see, can you yogurt or banana that that will probably work too um you know you can all you can kind of use all of these well-known healthier better for you swaps um you know in this mix and we've done it with our other mixes too so i feel like our mixes are just really forgiving and you can kind of play with them and do some different stuff with them mm -hmm. um so yeah yeah definitely some good options there um and then i also just a quick note about the nutrition facts um on all of our bake mixes, we put the nutrition pack facts as packaged and as prepared because we want you to get you guys to have like the nutrition facts for what it is in that box. And then if you end up changing something like doing applesauce or the yogurt instead of the oil, you know that, okay, the fat content is going to be different than what we put as prepared. So we just want to be as, you know, um, helpful as possible there with, um, with the nutrition facts. We put the net carbs on the box itself. So, you know, five grams net carbs per serving. And then also I want to make a note and I, Andres, I know you're going to talk about the serving because you feel very strongly about this. I do. Um, 
Yeah. So I, I'm just going to let you, you run with it. You tell me about the serving size. Well, I was, I was going to say that. So there are ways for companies to play around with the calories and the net carbs by making your batch of brownies have a lot of brownies in it. Okay. So the FDA really requires a standardization of how many brownies you would get out of a mix. And so we follow those guidelines so that we're not, you know, because who's going to eat a little teeny tiny brownie and say, okay, well, that's like two net carbs, but it's like barely a bite. So these are standardized just as if you went out and bought a Duncan Hines mix or Pillsbury, you know, the main people out there, you're going to get a thick, large, I actually, today when I cut them, I made sure that I made 12 because there are 12 brownies per box. I made sure that I cut, I said, okay, three this way, four this way. And I was, I was actually quite surprised at how large that the brownies were. So yeah, that's my size. It's mm -hmm. a true serving size, not just some like teeny teas. It's not a brownie teas, y'all. It is a real brownie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a, it's a significant, you know, it's not good. You're not going to get this tiny little brownie square and then like not be satisfied with it, you know? So, um, that's always really important to us is like satisfaction. The, the, we want you to have the full experience. Well, you know, Amy, swerve. you know what that is. That's our new Orleans roots, girl. It has to taste good. We're in new Orleans. We do not let need to let people down. And then we like to indulge so we can have some good indulgence. I mean, that is new Orleans coming out through and through. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's just our lifestyle. It's just our lifestyle. Um, okay, another question I saw, somebody asked, when will the brownies be at HEB? Um, hopefully soon. So another behind the scenes kind of thing for you guys at home. Um, I also work on our sales team. So I am <laughs> fr like frivolously, was furiously, um, you know, reaching out to all of our different retailers getting them to review the brownies. Hopefully they love them. Hopefully they bring them in. So it's a little bit of a process to get the brownies into the stores. Um, but they have been approved at Central Market. So you can find the brownies at Central Market now, which is very exciting. Um, if you are up in the Midwest, they're also gonna be at High V. Um, and so those are kind of like our confirmed retailers for right now, our grocery stores for right now. And we're working on it. I promise we're going to um, be presenting it to a bunch of other different uh, grocery stores. But those are the two places that you can definitely get them. Um, I know they're on the shelves at, at HEB, I mean, at, at Central Market right now. hy is going to be really, really soon. So yeah, and for some of you who don't live in Texas and may not know HEB, it's a local chain that's uh, that's headquartered out of San Antonio and very beloved in the state of Texas because, you know, Texas, they do it better in Texas, apparently. That's what they say. So we're going to let them keep saying that in Texas. Yeah, of course. Of course they have that mindset. <laughs> um, and then, of course, they're going to be on Amazon. Hopefully, okay. Andres, I'm going to let you take this one, too. Tell them so, about Amazon, because, y'all, it is nuts. <laughs> so you guys may um, be aware. We have a, uh, well, Amy is on, like she just mentioned, she's part of the team that goes out there and uh, works with our grocery partners and make sure that you have all the great offerings in your grocery stores. Um, so if it's not there, call Amy. She's going to help you out. Um, but Amazon, of course, these days, now that we're all having to be um, working from home and, and with COVID restrictions and us all trying to social distance and be aware of not going into the grocery stores as much, Amazon, all right, you know what, they have just been inundated. So at first, you know, it's really, it's usually pretty easy to launch a product on Amazon. Y'all, they considered our brownies non-essential. Now, don't you think brownies are essential right now, especially in these times? They are essential. So. Uh, some of our e-commerce team had to work some magic and pretty please, pretty please, we beg you. And they are so literally mm -hmm. we put all of our bundles together because you guys know we sell two packs of our mixes on Amazon. Um, we had some mixes that we think had gotten lost in the Bermuda Triangle. We're pretty sure they were, but they have been found and resurrected and they are being checked in to Amazon as we speak. But the brownie mix was picked up from our New Orleans headquarters Wednesday, and it is on its way to an Amazon fulfillment center in Memphis. So that little short trip from New Orleans to Memphis, but it's still, it must be 
I'm not really sure. It must have gotten on a slow truck because it hasn't made it there yet. But we're watching it literally every five minutes so we can let you all know the moment that it's live on Amazon. And, and we could be in the middle of this call right now and it could be a, it could start checking in. So it's kind of fun to watch it, but it's been a little more challenging. But if that's the challenge we have, we're here to accept it and think that that's not too bad in light of the whole situation. Right, exactly. So, so y'all are get, really getting like real time, real life updates um, with our with our brownie yeah. mix situation. It's a lot. It's just, you're getting you know. you're getting a lot of behind the scenes today. I don't know yeah. if you want to know all of those details, <laughs> but we think it's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. So, someone just asked, "Is this okay for kids to include in their diets?" Absolutely. This is a great option for kids. Um, you know, a lot of healthy fats in there, some good protein obviously no sugar added. Um, and you know, that's something that we kind of want to minimize in our diets. So absolutely great snack for kids, you know, after school or with their lunch or whatever. Yeah, that, that would be great for them. And I'll just give you guys a little note. I see some of our friends in the great white North asking questions about Canada. It's, um, we don't have the baked mixes available yet in Canada because we have to go through some very rigorous, you know, it translations for French, Oh, by the way, speaking of that, in case you didn't know, the brown swerve is now available in Canada. So that is fairly recent. So make sure for anyone up there in Canada that wants to get that, it's available. But the bait mixes, we're working on it. We have our translations done. Um, so it's, it's in process. I will tell you there are some opportunities for you to buy from U.S. e-commerce providers like Nutrition as an example, um, and maybe iHerb as well, or iHerb, I think as you guys say in Canada. Um, so you can definitely find a lot of our mixes there and bring them, um, have them shipped directly to your door as well. So brownie mix, I know that Nutrition, um, they know about the brownie mix and it'll probably become, be coming to them very soon. Yes. So you guys, you're going to be able to get it um, hopefully soon. But we also just, since you're here with us today on a Saturday, we want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. So we're going to give away some boxes of brownie mix. Is that okay with you, Andres? Do you think that's a good deal? I think like, like 10, right? Didn't we talk about 10? We'll 10 have 10 boxes? Mm -hmm. That sounds a little stingy, Amy. Okay. I mean, hello. Well, Why well, can't we give well, away a box of brownie mix to everybody that's here? Everyone. Oh, everyone. Uh, yeah, everyone that's here. I mean, can I put Oprah? Brownie <laughs> for you. Brownie for you. Brownie for you. Yes, right, we're going to give away. Everybody gets a box of brownie okay, mix. Brownie. Okay, guys. Thank you. I, I, I hope. Yeah, this you this is your lucky day i mean you're getting all the behind the scenes you're getting brownies i mean wow the comments are flooding in this is very I mean, exciting very you know exciting. what we just we may have to uh we may have to sideline that truck on its way to memphis and <laughs> detour it somewhere to get to the post office and start sending this brownie mix out brie wow. you guys brie is going i don't know we didn't run this by brie i'm oh, sorry God. i'll call brie and let her know that i decided <laughs> to get brownie it. mix for she's everybody do you on shipments of what 200 she's got it we got i don't got i don't, 41 I don't know. People here so if, if you guys know brie on our team if you've ever um gotten a sample or emailed the company emailed us or called us you've probably talked to brie and so she would be the person you would definitely want to know if there's anybody to know on the team is brie mm -hmm. yeah brie's great so yeah, everybody's gonna get a brownie mix. Brie is gonna package it up for you and we are going to mail it to you. So again, Mike just put that link in there. So MailChimp slash Swerve Suite, that's where you're gonna sign up to put your information in and you're gonna get the brownies sent directly to you. Um, so go ahead, so wait, everybody, you see, the, you see the, the URL. Can you see it there? Michael Hartnett, so MailChimp, Swerve Suite. Dot. Click on it now so that you save it don't lose it and then wait don't and come back to your zoom because we want to make sure you get your brownies yes we want you this guys to i have one more thing to tell you this is what we in in new orleans this is what we call land yap does anybody know what land yap is i saw somebody was on the north shore in mandeville yes, mandeville yeah we have a man i saw somebody over there you know what land yap a little something extra exactly so in new orleans it's kind of like a baker's dozen if you go and you get a 13th donut swerve donut 
If you get that, that's land yap. And so today, because you came to this Zoom call, you got a little brownie land yap. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's okay. So Dorothy land yap. It's also it's actually spelled wait. Langy app. L a n g l a n g i a p p e. Oh, I would have forgotten the n, the n before the g. Am yeah, I right, Mike. Mike, 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 was that correct? Oh, look, there she, there she goes. Tiffany got it. Tiffany got it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, guys. Well, um, I think that was it. I hope we answered all of your questions. Um, of course, just email us, um, follow us on social media, make sure you're, you know, monitoring all of our social channels. That's where we're going to share when the Brownie Mix is finally live on Amazon. Um, but yes, if you have any other questions, um, you know, of course, just reach out to us. Uh, Mike, if you want to share that link for the Brownies one more time, just so everyone gets it. Um, make sure to sign up so you can get your box of brownie mix and definitely check out the blog post of some fun things you can do to your brownies once you get them. They're delicious as is, but if you want to kind of, you know, uh, shake it up a bit, you can do that too. So, um, yeah, and this is enjoy this. This is the start to your Memorial Day weekend. We wish you all, first of all, a safe holiday weekend and safe every day right now, but we hope you also have a very pleasant time and can at least social distance with family and friends. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And like Andrew said, have a, an amazing Memorial Day weekend. Love you guys. Bye from New Orleans. Oh, look, a closing poll. Okay. Sorry, guys. I forgot about the polls. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. What's the best time? Yeah. Let us know what, when, um, is the best time for you guys to do these zoom calls you know we we thought we'd try a weekend call so hopefully you know you enjoyed this one but you know we're flexible we can do during the day or a little bit after work so it's super helpful to know what what is what works best for y'all i gave up golf for you guys today oh wow this was more important <laughs> i'm actually at the beach and i have some friends over and they're they're, they're already on the beach in a tent, you know? Well, Y'all better be careful out there, Amy. Be careful out there. We'll be careful. Don't worry. Don't worry. Safety first. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy the brownies. Let us know what you think of them. Thanks. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, y'all are all so sweet. Everyone's saying thank you. So much fun. They thanks really for letting me. So thanks for letting me be part of it today. Fun. Oh, of course, Andres, you were a great co-host. This was fun. We'll have to do it again sometime. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's see. Oh, we still have a bunch of people. Twenty. I know.